Hello everybody, just thought I'd give you a little WMPA update. Um, I am coming from my home, I'm working on a project. Um, it's nice to be able to do some editing at home now, don't have to drive to West Mountain. Uh, it really makes it a lot more convenient and in the long run should it result in more programming being completed. Because the editing process, while not difficult at all, can be a little bit of time consuming. Anyway, the project I'm working on right now is Young Spirits 2015 program called 10,000 Reasons. Um, I just got finished ingesting the video. I ran two cameras and I had to take the video from both cameras and get it into my computer so that I can edit. I have accomplished that. And let's go to my screen here and let me get rid of that for a second. I have my two camera sources in my video file, camera one and camera two. I have also created my titles and my credits for the production. I have not yet caught any typos, which is always good. I've also created some lower thirds and titles, which will go on um, at the beginning of each song, so you know what song it is they're singing. And uh, that's pretty much everything I need to produce this video is now in my editing software, which is Adobe Premiere. All right. So, as you can see there, everything's in. The hard part is done. The most time-consuming part of the project generally is creating the graphics and getting the video into the computer. It's a lot faster than it used to be. It took me about 20 minutes or so per camera to get it into the computer. I recorded about an hour 58 minutes. I always start before the program and end afterwards and don't turn it off in between. That would have used to take me an hour 58 minutes for camera one, hour and 58 minutes for camera two. So I was looking at just four hours just to get the video in there. Now I can do it in about 40 minutes. So that's been a great improvement in technology over the last few years. Graphics, I kept them simple. Just grabbed the logo. The hard work was the people who put the program together. I'm just basically reproducing it for the video screen. I will bring some updates as I make further progress. If this sounds like something you'd like to try or learn, it's easy to do. I'd be happy to teach you. I could always use more volunteers at the cable station. Like I said, there's nothing real difficult about it, but it does take a little bit of time. So until the next update, I'm Thomas Beck. Have a great day.